22nd. And look at this, the gate is downhill to open the gate. And when you're on horseback, I don't think so, right? Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how they did this gate. Come on, Nutwood, come on. My reins. It's not even safe walking down it. Where are we going, Meg? We're gonna go north today. We're going north. So, north. So get, get your horse back over here, out of that southbound trail. Uh oh. See? We have Sarge today, Elwood. You better straighten up. We're going north. Okay, let's go north. Go north, young man. I've never been this way. I, me neither. That's why I want to do it. So we're going into uncharted territory. Oh, okay, I've ridden there a lot, but now it's. Yes. Yep, she is saying that Rosemont Junction is a shooting gallery, and also UTVs are around in there too. So it's not as friendly as it was 20 years ago. Okay. Exactly, it's you can see. It isn't a narrow trail though, it's a nice trail, so that's good. But you can see how it does drop down into a canyon. And I think you can see this, the what was the name of that company? Do you remember? I don't remember the name of the company, yeah. but they called it Rosemont um, Mines, I believe. You have ridden for 35 minutes. You can see. You have done 1.3 miles. Meg was just telling me that none of our riding clubs that we belong to have gone north on the Arizona Trail from Oak Tree Trailhead. So we are going north today so people that watch the video can see what, how it is. You are in a lot of of can well, you're not in the canyons, you can look down and see all the canyons, which is totally different than going the other way. So even though it's the same Arizona Trail, in the same mountains, it's totally different. Meg is on the high road, I'm on the low road. So now we're actually dropping down into one of the canyons, which is nice. We got pretty red flowers, or pink I should say.
Okay. Okay, Meg's going to see if there's any water, and I don't, I don't see any. Oh my goodness, look at the steps. Yeah. Well, it's important to take your time. Come on now, take your time. He doesn't want any part of those rocks. I don't blame him. See that head growing right there? Okay, well we did not stay in the canyon. We're actually back up on a ridge and we have a big Air Force plane going all before us. And I say thank you guys for your service. Wow. Right? That's the sound of freedom, guys. No, keep going. Of the ridge. There we have Calco Meg, aka Sergeant Meg. My husband named her that, by the way. riding. Come on, you're going to get me in trouble. Keep walking, Elwood. <sighs> he stopped the poop. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> okay, fine. If I get in trouble, you're getting in trouble. Camera's on. This is so pretty. We're back, back down in a little canyon here. Yeah, it is. Oh, the shade is very nice. Every once in a while we get a little bit of it. We'll take it. Five minutes. You have done two point five miles. Okay, we are crossing the road here. Okay, we are riding up to a water tank, it looks like, and with solar on it, and we have the road for the rancher to come and check everything. It would be nice if we did have water the horses could have here. Uh-uh. We have a big tank for solar. Right? Yeah. Don't know. Huh. Hmm. So much for that, huh? You have ridden for oh. 70 minutes. You have done 2.7 <gasps> miles. There's the tank. Come on, Elwood, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we 
be one of the most not Why are you act He doesn't want to get on that road for some reason. Okay, let's see if we have water. I can't see yet. It's empty. Well, well, doggone. Really? Okay, the horses were acting real like something's gonna get us. So we went down into the wash on the other side, hoping this will calm them down a little bit. Yeah, Elwood's not on high alert anymore. You have ridden for 95 minutes. You have done 3.3 miles. Something over there because she was looking at her. Yeah, it's definitely something. That's how they work. Um, Yes. Well, you see a lot more canyons. Yeah, it is. This is beautiful through here. Oh, yeah, we got a barrel of cactus. Ugh. Look at these beautiful trees. Isn't this nice? Look at this beautiful tree. I mean, you talk about gorgeous, and it's so big. I think being in the wash has helped. This is beautiful. Well, all right, I need to get a little drink of water. Look at this, isn't that gorgeous? I think we're going to turn around here, Meg, and go back. Is that yeah, what we're doing? I think so, because we've been almost an hour oh. and a half. Oh, okay. Okay, we are going to go ahead and turn around here. Meg wanted to lay down in the wash and take a nap because it's so beautiful. It's 
but there's no water for the horses so we're gonna head on back we did how many miles so far three point something Poor Echo's trying to get more feed for her horse, and she didn't set it up with Benson feed before she went. Usually I tell him, I got a horse. Okay, we are going through this. Whoa. What was that, Elwood? Hmm? What was that, bud? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. He's fine. Even be a bull. There's a big that way. Come on, Elwood. I'm gonna lose my mind with you. I know I'm hurting you, and I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, we are back to the gate. You have ridden for 125 minutes. You have done 4.2 miles. Ugh, really? <laughs> oh my gosh, I look. Uh, I know, right? If I'm going to do some funny stuff. When you come up to the gate, come up to it straight. And okay, you can see how pretty this is. A lot more tree cover. What were you saying, Meg? It's surprising how close we are. Yes, Meg is saying our trail is so close to 83. As the crow flies, it's right there. Isn't that funny? But this one, if you keep going north, it'll take you to Rosemont Junction. And if you keep following it, it'll drop you down into Vail at the um, Sarita Mountain Road and 83. And then it crosses the road and goes over to Colossal Cave. So here's on the trail. It's lots of beautiful different areas to ride. Yeah, we'll have to bring Gale down here. This is gorgeous. I think she would. Yeah. We're back to our little wash with our rock steps here. Elwood didn't want any part of them coming down. Let's see if walk, walk. Good boy. Good boy. Nugget did good, of course. There we go. That was uneventful. Okay, Meg and I are at the top looking down on a canyon. It is beautiful, beautiful. And we could actually see the trucks going down 83. We're that close to it as the crow flies. Yeah, there goes a car. Yep, they went a car. It is gorgeous and the weather's perfect. Here is the Eric Zona trail sign where you can either go south or north. Today, Meg and I, we went north. And it was gorgeous. It was gorgeous. Did you like it, Meg? It was beautiful. <laughs> I have to say that's one of my favorite trails now, next to the Gwindani Trail. And where is that at? Karshner Cabin. Oh, okay. Yep, so Southeast Arizona. You have ridden for 185 minutes. You have done 6.2 miles. Okay, we are gonna see if the horses want something. I have water in my trailer. So if Elwood doesn't like it, that's not a problem. Nugget isn't even real sure about it. Pretty good. 
Yeah, and I have nice fresh water at the trailer. And you do, I know you always do. Because if you look at this tank, it looks pretty dirty. She's not thirsty or it don't smell right. Yeah, it's nasty. Yeah. Okay, come on. Here we go. We'll just go to the trailer and get some nice fresh clean water. Okay, we are back to the trailers. We're gonna give our horses some water and then we're gonna have lunch. I brought a bean bur a bean, no, not a bean burrito, a hamburger chopped up with rice and lime and cilantro. And it is going to be delicious. I fixed that last night for dinner and I love it. So that's what I'm gonna have. Meg's gonna have her tuna and crackers. So life is good. Okay, happy trails.